tutorial. All right, so this is the deal. I have this song with these drums, and I want to be able to start a new project and just load up these drums as an instrument. This is a track stack, as you can see. Everything's routed to its own channel. And if you look down in the mixer, you can see I have some plugins and some EQ on some of these tracks. I don't want to have to do that every time. So what we're going to do is do it from scratch. So we'll close this project. Do not save file. Create a new. We're going to create an instrument because I'm going to create my drum track. Go to instruments, load up superior, load up my kit. Yes. Now we go to the mixer, and since we selected multi-channel output, we're going to go multi-channel here. Superior will route those to the appropriate channel. Hit X to bring up our mixer. Hit the plus sign to get our auxiliary out, and let's get a groove in there so we can hear what the fuck is going on. Derek Verbieren from Soil Work. Sure, that works. Load that up in there. Loop it. Let me just drop this down so I'm not killing everybody. Alright. So we got our drums. I believe that's all the auxiliaries I need. That's reverb. Alright. And we can name these if we want. Verb. Kick. Snare top. Snare bottom. Hi hat. And I'm kind of guessing. So Tom. Alright, so we have all these and we can add some just for the sake of proving my point. Modern kick, that clicky kick, and we can even do this. We'll take these snares and we will route that to a bus. Call this our snare bus. So it's just basically taking the top and the bottom mics, put them together. Okay. Now we can go add some EQ to this if we want. Let's see. So this is what we'll do. You get all your settings done. You select the tracks. So I selected all my drum tracks, including the snare bus. You right click and you're gonna go to create track or control T. So we'll do control T. Fuck you. So we select our tracks. Shift, Control T, or you can right click, go to create track. So now we have tracks, and you can see them monitoring here. Tracks for all our drums. All right. We then select these tracks, 
and we go to create track stack or shift command D. It's good to get in the habit of using keyboard shortcuts then you can work with two hands. So track stack, a folder stack basically packs everything into a volume slider. Summing track pretty much packs it into a auxiliary track so we'll do that. We create that and now everything is inside of this and we can even add EQ to the whole kit. So we'll go to Tune Track, Easy Mix, and we'll go Drums, Group Bus, Metal, uh, let's see. You get the point. It doesn't fucking matter. So say I'm just totally digging that. I'll just do my drum bus. Like I said, we open it up. All our EQs and shit are in there. Where's our fucking... That's weird. That's not showing up. Or maybe I did. Yeah, I thought I did. Whatever. So we'll go back here. For some reason that disappeared. Rock snare. No. So this is how easy this is. We get it all set up. So that's in a nice compact track. So say we had other tracks here. Just create a fucking audio track for the sake of whatever. You're going to take, make sure your track stack is highlighted. We can even change this icon if we want. Just, all right, so there's our drums. I'm going to bring down the library with our drum bus selected. You're going to click save down here. It is going to be saved as an instrument. So we'll do my drum bus, that's fine. We'll save it. Alright. Let's close out of this fucker. Don't save. File. New. Software instrument. And bring up the library. Create. If we go to our user patches, we see my drum bus. We double click. Look at that. Got the EQ on the kick, the EQ on the snare bus. The snare bus is there. Obviously, we weren't going to hear anything because we don't have a groove. It even loaded up the kit. Go to groove. Whatever. Dirk. That's loud as fuck, sorry. Loop that. Save our ears. And there it is. Same drum set. And now I can just start recording my song. Adding shit over it. So it's that easy. And I've been trying to figure this out forever. So that's it, guys. Um, if you like this tutorial, like the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions regarding anything in the tutorial. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.